Hi everyone, I'm Chevelle McBoard, Certified Anesthesiologist Assistant. And this week I've actually found some old footage of me from my interview to studying for my first exam in AA school and my first semester in AA school. So I thought it'd be fun to put some footage together of me three years ago now. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep on watching. But before I show you that, make sure that you have subscribed, make sure that you like this video. And also, if you wanna see more old footage of me during school or during clinicals, comment that down below. Otherwise, enjoy. Um, in terms of a timeline of what my application cycle was like, I had considered going to PA school, so I went back to school and was taking some prerequisites. And I had been talking to a friend of mine and she mentioned kind of like the CRNA AA profession. I ended up looking more into it and I really felt like it suited me. And at the time I knew that I wouldn't work in New York right away, but I felt like there was room for growth and I was also okay leaving New York and doing something different for a couple of years and potentially moving back towards New York or taking a job immediately out of school in DC or in Vermont. But I also really liked Florida, so I was okay with living in Florida for multiple years. So I was very open-minded about that when I first learned about the profession and when I applied. I was taking a couple classes, I wanted to finish that semester. So I had looked into the application cycle, I saw that I had all of the prerequisites, I was super excited, and I just needed to take the GRE and shadow. And so I quickly signed up for the GRE, I studied for it, I did multiple practice tests, and I took the GRE, I believe, the first week of December. Then I also basically coordinated shadowing in the early January uh, after I got out of school. It's nice to see the growth from when I was interviewing to today. So if you are interested in seeing that, keep on watching. experience. I just felt very comfortable with everyone that was interviewing me. I did feel like I rushed through my interview and like my voice was a little low which is unfortunate but I still think that I did a good job and I think I have a great chance of coming to this program and I would be so happy to so I'm really excited to hear back. The Some of the students that we were with said that they heard back the same day and they said we will hear back we will hear back by Friday or possibly next week so i hope to just you know get that acceptance and the rest of my interviews can go a little bit more smoothly i really had a great time and i'm super happy i got to intubate today too like it was a simulation lab so it wasn't a real patient but, but yeah i really really enjoyed it here and i'm looking forward to coming here and hopefully coming here with some of the people i'm interviewing with because they were really sweet and i'm gonna see some of them later on as well so we're practicing these preguntas. me right now and she said it was a unanimous decision and I've been accepted. So I just stepped into the Airbnb and apparently I booked two rooms and it was $26. Yay! Last interview done.
to enjoy the city and had study groups and even though it was very challenging I felt like I had a great time learning with my classmates. It definitely was a bonding experience. If you are about to start the program I'm very excited for you. Keep up the hard work and a lot of greatness is ahead of you so just keep on working hard. Otherwise like I said leave any comments down below for things you'd like to see next and I'll catch you all next week.